What's up, friends? It is Friday evening. It's 9.30 and I just got out of the movies. Jesse and I just saw John Wick 3. It's pretty awesome, pretty intense. Now I'm headed to Ottawa because every summer there is this big, huge yard sale called the Glebe Yard Sale, which is in the ritzy area of Ottawa. Emily loves going to this yard sale because, you know, people with lots of money and live that live in the nice houses are getting rid of some nice stuff for cheap. So I was there like years ago and then I've always wanted to go back but it hasn't worked out because I've always worked and this weekend I don't. So I'm headed up there now because we want to be we want to get at it like bright and early and then I'll be going back home tomorrow night. That is the plan. Gonna hit the road because I'm probably get there around 10 30 or shortly after that. So Let's hit the road. It's super early, 5.30. Time to get ready for the yard sale. It's seven o'clock and Em is just finishing getting ready and we are heading to this yard sale. Hopefully we find some good finds today. Right now it's beautiful, but it's, you know, calling for rain all day. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Where people know you're not going to Yeah. So, I am now home, reunited with that guy. It rained so hard on the way home. Luckily it wasn't like the whole way because it would have taken me a lot longer to get home. Today was a good day. I only bought one thing. This original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. It was the only one this guy had and I just not really looking for them anymore, but if I stumble across one that I don't have, I will get it. And so that's the only thing I bought. Em was pretty successful, so that was awesome. She had a list of stuff she was looking for and she was able to find some, so. I mean, the forecast yesterday was calling for rain all day. The forecast changed like it normally does. And it ended up being like a beautiful day until lunchtime. So, and then it really started to rain and everyone kind of started to pack up, so. That was too bad, we still would have wandered around. It wasn't raining that hard. We were there for like four and a half, five hours of like walking around, carrying stuff. So we had a lot of steps in today and we lugged a lot of stuff around. So my legs are actually pretty tired. Tomorrow I'm hoping it's supposed to be really nice. So I'm hoping to do my flower beds. Come on Collins, this way. It's starting to rain again, a bit off and on. I'm just gonna go back, relax, and watch the Raptors game. I just started listening to my first audiobook, actually, and it was recommended to me by Jen because she knows that I love, she knows I love The Princess Bride and Carrie Elwes. And he wrote a book, As You Wish, The Inconceivable Tales of the Making of The Princess Bride. And he actually reads the audiobook and I'm absolutely loving it. And I haven't seen The Princess Bride in so long that I'm like three discs in. I kind of want to watch it before I finish the rest of this just so that I can really visualize when he's talking about the makings of certain parts. But, so I'm gonna watch this now. Probably not gonna be able to finish it tonight. 
because the Raptors game and such, but I'm gonna start it. I'll finish it tomorrow. So it is almost 11 o'clock and I've just been tidying up, finished washing the Princess Bride as well this morning. And now I am going to do my workout for the day. And my parents are coming over later and they're gonna help me do my flower beds. Time to get some cardio in. I walked a lot yesterday, uh, it was pretty awesome. I was looking at my phone and my steps and got over 20,000 steps yesterday. Walked over 14 kilometers. So I'm not gonna lie, my legs are a little tired and sore today, but that's not gonna stop me because I also ate so many carbs yesterday. So, work out. Let's do it. Don't want to miss me. This is all you need Be your everything Yeah, I'll be your everything Still too soon to feel Please just say it's real More than just a thrill Not just in it for the thrill I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to touch it You're pressing on my buttons Babe, let me tell you something So it is now 12 and Kona and I are headed to Home Hardware to pick up some flowers and get these flowers done earlier than last year so pat on the back. So we are back from getting flowers and everything and now the flower planting is about to commence. Going in. 
So in this bed here, um, I've got, like I normally always put some coleus in, so I've got uh, the coleus here and then another type there and they're just sort of throughout the beds. And then along the front, I think I did these last year and you know, I just planted them so they're looking pretty droopy. But all along the front here, uh, those are Calabracoa and I've kind of got the coral and red alternating all the way through there. Also in the back, these red guys there, they're salvias. And then one thing I did different this year is there's always been something that was planted in front of the wagon wheel, a cl something that climbed. I think that one flowered, but it never really did very well. So this year I've planted a mandevilla there. It will really climb fast and get really beautiful flowers on it. Now it's an annual, so you have to plant it every year, but I had it at the old house and I loved it. And then again over here, the same flowers just sort of throughout, except for in the back here, same thing. There's always something that was growing there, but it never flowered. So rather than a mandevilla, it's actually, it's a honeysuckle and it'll get these really cool drooping red flowers on it. And it's a perennial, so it'll come back every year. So I, I thought I'd try it. And if I really like it, then maybe I'll plant it on the other side too. I have these little trees pine trees that I've just planted. I got them at the celebration of life that we went to a couple weeks ago and so I've just put them in pots for now and I'll eventually plant them. Same thing, same flowers, but the big change I made to this flower bed is that big moogie pine, moogo pine, I always get the name wrong, is gone. We chainsawed it up and I'm loving already how much, op like it's so open now. You can see into the side yard. I'm stoked that's gone. I was a little worried because chickadees are always in it and I was worried there was maybe nests. So I did some research and chickadees nest in more like rotten wood, old woodpecker holes. So, and we, there was no nests when we actually did start chopping it up. So I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do there. I think this year probably just a bunch of hostas, but loving that being gone and that was just sort of a last minute decision this guy the bed that usually nothing grows in although that that little hosta there actually came back this year but if you look at it and then the ones over there like those are so much more advanced than that guy this season but whatever i planted some of the extra flowers that i had in here and then i also extended this bed a little bit. So I got a new hosta, planted it there. Hopefully this bed will do better this year. And then my little barrels that I have at the entrance of our driveway, did them again, changed them up a little bit again too. I planted the canna lily again this year. And this year, rather than tons of flowers, I went with, and honestly, I have no idea what any of these are, but I did a few flowers in the back and then sort of this greenery that's gonna like expand and drape over. So this is an experiment. I'm hoping that it will sort of expand to the back. If not, I might still add a couple more flowers, but I'm kind of digging that. And the final bed that I have in the back, I honestly, I don't even know if I showed it last year. So I've got this little one in the back and there's still a little bit more I wanna do to it. I wanna get stones like I have around all the beds in the front and put them around this one because I've never done that. So that I will do, and then I still have to mulch everything. So this is this little bed. To this I added the Dusty Millers, which are these little white guys. And then I added this Coral Bell, which is a perennial, so it'll keep coming back. The Dusty Millers are annuals. And then I got this guy, my little flamingo friend that I've put back here who I absolutely love. He was on sale at Canadian Tire. And yeah, like my swan in the front yard. All about the birds. So just gonna add stones around the edge and then I might need to add a little bit more dirt to fill it in. But yeah, loving that. I feel like I got a lot accomplished today. Super happy about it. Time to take Kona for a walk and just relax and have a beer. <sighs> Thank you.
So that is going to conclude this weekend's vlog. Yet again, another fun weekend. Great time at the yard sale and I feel like I got a ton accomplished today in the yard. So yeah, good weekend. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next weekend.